Hey guys, this is Lindy Day. You are here doing lessons with Lindy, touring female lead guitarist, also female guitar teacher. Today we're doing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by none other than the Beatles. Let's go over the intro, then we'll hit some chords, and we'd be done. Here's what the intro sounds like. show this to you two ways because with my students there, there seems to be two different brains on this so whichever way you're more prone to go ahead and learn that style I'm gonna go measure by measure this starts in 3-4 time which means it's three quarter notes to one measure the very first three notes we're gonna do here's the tabs and here's the chord chart I want you to use whichever one your brain is more likely to follow neither one's right or wrong it's the same information laid out two different ways I'll also talk you through it your pointer finger is going to go on the ninth fret of the G for that sound. Middle finger is going on 10 of the B for that. Pinky is going to hit 12 on the high E string for this. What I like to do, I like to actually make the shape before I start playing this measure at all. So if you're fast enough, go ahead and make that shape, then play the measure. I do have students that will kind of go one at a time too. Whatever gets you to the right answer is fine with me. So we have G string, B string, then E string. Then we're gonna to move to the second measure and I want you to use these fingers. The chord is gonna look like this and the tabs are gonna look like this. And here's what's important. Your ring finger is gonna chill on 12 of the G and your pinky is gonna hang out on 12 of the high E string. Those two fingers are really important to put there. Once you do that, your pointer finger is going to land on 10 of the B. And the order is different now. You're going to hit the strings in this order. You're going to play G, then you're going to play high E, then you're going to come down to B. So let me show you that one more time. We're going to play the G string, then the E string, then the B string. And before we go on, I want to do both those measures back to back with you super slow. Follow me, get that first chord set up for that first measure, here's how it's going to sound. Then I want you to go ahead, flip it up to 12 and 12 using ring and pinky. And remember, we're on the G and the B, 12 and 12. And then your partner finger is going to land on 10 of the B. And remember the order of the strings. I want you to hold this shape. The reason I've had you use these fingers is because of what comes next. You're going to take your middle finger and you're going to lay it down on 11 of the G. You're going to lift up the ring finger. So now if you're holding chords, your chord will look like this. And if you're following tabs, the tab's going to look like this. It's a really easy switch and I want you just Let's play it first and then we'll do some practice. So the order of the strings is going to be G, B, and then high E for that sound. So let's go ahead and play that one more time. And then I want you to practice switching back and forth between measure two and measure three. And really what I'm asking you to do is go ahead and put the ring finger down on 12 of the G and then lift up the middle finger. We're going to come back to measure two. Then I want you to throw down that middle finger on 11 of the G, lift up the ring. Let's play measure three. So you can see how I've made this transition nice, nice and simple. The fourth measure is going to go like this. And I have a really nice transition for you on this. Let me tell you fingers first, then we'll look at the transition. Your middle finger is gonna land on 10 of the G. Let's go ahead and play that note. Then we're gonna do something really cool. I want your ring finger to come on up to 10 of the high E string. Before you play a note, I want you to put the pointer finger down on nine of the high E string as well. We're getting ready to do a pull off. Once your fingers are there, Go ahead and play 10 on the high E string. And I want you to pull off to 9. I'll show you that again. And the very last note you're going to hit in this measure is going to be 10 on the B. I usually just pop my ring finger up a string and get that noise. 
So this last measure all together, super slow, is going to go like this. And I want to look at the transition between measure uh, three and measure four. So let's go back to this shape. Not that shape, this shape. <laughs> so here's what we're, we're looking. If you're following the chord charts, here it is. If you're following the tabs, here it is. Go ahead and play this measure for me. And then what I want you to do, slide the middle, First of all, take the pinky off the guitar. We don't need it right now. Slide the middle finger down one fret and let your pointer finger just go with it. So we're going boop like that. Then I want you to take the pointer finger, drop it down one string to the high E string. And if you look, we're now ready to play this last measure. So this transition is a really nice way to get from measure three to measure four. I'm gonna do the transition with you again. So come back to measure three. Then we're gonna kick the pinky, look at the middle finger, I want you to slide it down one fret, pointer finger goes down a string, let's play the last measure. The song isn't hard, it's actually the transition between measures that gets a lot of my students, so really make sure you've got those transitions good to go. Let's look at the chords, the Beatles are not actually playing these chords when they play the song, they're doing this arpeggio intro thing I showed you these chords are nice to play and sing at the same time. They're intermediate chords too. So. Here's what I got for you. You're going to start off with a, a major chord. We're not starting intermediate. Just like that. And remember, we are in 3-4 time. One, two, three. One, two, three. So each chord is going to be at three beats. The second chord is an A7 chord. So again, not quite intermediate. This chord's not too hard, it's just two fingers. You just lift up that middle finger. Both chords together, here we go. A, A7. The next chord is called an A6 chord. It is not a common chord. It looks like this. Here's how you're gonna play it. Pointer and middle finger are gonna hang out on two and two of the G and the B string. If you have the flexibility, I want the pinky to land on four of the D string. Some people can't do that. Some people's hands are larger than mine. I'm just a young woman, so my hands are kind of tiny. If you have hands that can do it, you can use the ring finger, but I don't want you to strain. So if you feel like that hurts, pop on up to the pinky. Neither way is right or wrong. It just depends on how your body is built. Here's what this chord sounds like. Like that. Let's practice these three chords before we hit the next one. Here's the A chord. One, two, three. A7. One, two, three. Get your A6 chord ready. It takes people a second to reach sometimes. And when you're ready, one, two, three. Then we're going to pull up this F6 chord. It looks like this. The way you want to do it is pointer finger lands on first fret of the high E. Pop your middle finger on the second fret of the G. And then uh, ring and pinky are gonna land on three and three. And I want the ring finger to come up to three on the D string. I want the pinky to land on three of the B string. Beautiful chord, little hard to reach. You might have to practice moving from the A6 to the F6. But that's what we got. And that's pretty much the chords in the whole verse. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, back to A. One, two, three, A7, one, two, three, just like that. There are more chords in this song. I did not go over the pre-chorus or the chorus. I'm just giving you this much for today. Thanks guys, you can find me on Instagram. It's Guitarist Lindy. I don't teach over there, I just perform, and I'll show you clips from the bands that I play in. If you have any requests, please leave them in a comment below. Thanks guys.